I think in MGTOW we have a lot of uh, inner turmoil and that reflects itself a lot in inner conflict. It's easy to understand inner turmoil is when you're having that uh, discussion with yourself about two uh, opposing ideas. Inner conflict starts when we have that discussion about those two opposing ideas with other people. There's a lot of uh, inter-conflict within each MGTOW. Uh, we start talking about uh, touchy subjects, such as dating and marriage and your professional career, what you're willing to do, what you're willing not to do. When choosing a career or a career path or education, those inner conflicts will come up. Uh, but mainly in MGTOW, it's about those uh, dating decisions and stuff like that. Uh, I want to at this point note that uh, most inner conflict, most inner turmoil would not exist. There would not be that, that, uh, that frustration if there was other options or alternatives. Trying to sort through these things sometimes becomes rather tedious. And when to bring them out to a friend and uh, ask questions and display your interest in both ideas sometimes, that's where the inner conflict of the group will come in. I've often thought that an honest attempt at uh, group dynamics within MGTOW would be the honest way to discuss these things. We've seen it with other groups, but uh, so often in MGTOW you can't get five men together in the same room without having an argument. Without doubt, I think it's important for each MGTOW to do those deep introspections before they enter into that inner turmoil or enter uh, conflict within the group. Uh, the, the introspection in itself will help to solve the problem of the inner turmoil before you bring it to the group and start asking questions. And then you, we, we can realize that we're not so special here in MGTOW and uh, most people in the world go through these things daily. What I find uh, most of the time when I'm going through these tumultuous periods of inner turmoil with ideas in my head uh, that I need to get more specific because when I look at both ideas I start punching holes in both ideas they seem sort of light and they're not very uh, well manufactured so the first advice I can get to give you is get more specific on the uh, question you're asking yourself. MGTOW uh, in itself does provide a lot of the answers to the questions. Uh, most of all, be true to yourself. Uh, all the stories and all the questions around MGTOW provides a lot of that uh, inner turmoil. It's there to provide that inner turmoil to help you make a better decision, to help you realize the risk in a lot of these things that men do. We can take a simple subject like just becoming MGTOW and uh, blow it out of the proportion. There's desire involved in this thing and having a powerful desire to invoke something like MGTOW, uh, going galt, going your own way, going off the grid, will invoke the greatest enthusiasm, uh, tentatively making plans to do so, yet we still procrastinate on these things and discuss them internally in our minds. Uh, involves certain hazards uh, because it's out of your control sometimes. You're not comfortable with it. Uh, things will be hard. Uh, you have things to do. Sometimes most of us have uh, other people that rely on us. Well, in that, uh, that's where uh, MGTOW becomes your greatest of allies. You become doubtless about what you're doing. Imagine that, you got this mealstorm uh, brewing around you. You're making a decision to become a MGTOW and you're wrestling with that. Uh, there's going to be exasperating conflict and uh, conflictual situations with people and places in your job and uh, all those things. It's a pretty big decision to become a MGTOW. It's a life-changing decision. Uh, there will be numerous elements in that that will unite us or will tear us apart. And that's the conversation that we all MGTOW should have with each other. Seriously contemplating the changes that you're gonna invoke in your life is important. Uh, what works, what doesn't work, what really works, and what, uh, 
what really doesn't work, it's going to trigger some anxiety and it's going to trigger a, uh, a disquieting sense of vulnerability in yourself. Uh, we all have to realize that we're moving forward towards something in life and sometimes giving yourself a goal, a long overdue goal, will help in a lot of these uh, situations. Take a chance and confront your doubts and your fears. That's all MGTOW's saying, really. Take a chance on yourself. Be optimistic about your visions of the future. And uh, that's about all I wanted to get into today or say. Uh, I'm trying to make these short and palatable and uh, get my thoughts out about MGTOW to other people. Uh, you all have a great day and be comfortable with your MGTOW, be comfortable with your life. It's not like you're doing something that's not approved by most men in this world. It's just not approved by most women in this world. Uh, they're the ones that are going to take it on the chin in this thing, not you. Make a plan, make a goal, move on forward. And hey, MGTOW, have fun while you're doing it. Thanks a lot, guys.